Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are going to be talking about Dwayne Wade's ex-wife, you guys, um, who has now accused the former NBA star of exploiting their 15-year-old transgender daughter for financial gain. And this is going to be a controversial topic, you guys. This is going to be a very controversial topic, but let's get into it. This is coming from the Jasmine brand, but it's on several publications. And it says the following. It says, Dwayne Wade's ex-wife is pleading to a court to stop their 15-year-old transgender daughter from changing her name and gender on her birth certificate. Court documents filed this week display that, you know, Dwayne Wade's first wife and mother of his two oldest children, Zaya and 20-year-old Zaire, requested that the court imposes an order that would prevent the 15-year-old daughter Zaya Wade from legally changing her gender from male to female on her birth certificate until she is 18 years old. Also, Dwayne Wade's ex from she was married to Dwayne from um, 2002 to 2010, of course, and is worried that her daughter will be pressured into permanently changing her identity by her father, who will allegedly profit from Zaya's transition. As previously reported, Zaya Wade came out as a transgender back in 2019. Since then, she has signed modeling contracts for companies such as Tiffany and Dove. In addition, she's accumulated hundreds of thousands of followers on social media. The 15-year-old has also appeared on red carpets alongside her father's stepmother, Gabrielle Union, who has previously shared she is accepting Zaya, and this is her choice. The teen mother said in her legal filing, I have concerns that Dwayne may be pressuring our child to move forward with the name and gender change in order to capitalize on the financial opportunities that he has received from companies. This follows as a response after Dwayne Wade um, followed a petition, filed a petition back in August to allow his daughter to change her name from Zion Malachi Aramis Wade to Zaya Malachi Aramis Wade to Zaya. <laughs> Zion to Zaya, you guys. Um, it's been a long day. And his August filing, the former NBA star alleged that he had the legal right to make decisions on his daughter's behalf and informing his ex-wife about it was a, quote, courtesy. OMG, this is so messy, you guys. In 2011, after a four-year court battle, Dwayne was awarded full custody of his children when he divorced his ex-wife. And she believes that she lost the battle with her ex-husband because of his wealthy lifestyle. At the time, Dwayne's ex-wife shared, I think influence had a lot to do with it. Celebrity had a lot to do with it. Money had a lot to do with it. In April, she reiterated an alleged conversation she had with her ex-husband, claiming that he told her that they have already made tons of money in relation to Zaya's gender change. She had said, Dwayne told me that he intended to make our child very famous due to the name and gender issues, and also informed me that there would be endorsements, contracts associated therewith. She added, I'm concerned that our child is being commercialized at a young age. Also, of the uncontrollable consequences of media exposure, i.e. cyberbullying statements and or pictures taking out of context of our child and the unwanted spotlight focused on our child. A hearing has been set in December to rule whether or not Zaya can legally change her name and gender without the consent of her mother. What are your thoughts on Dwayne Wade's ex-wife claiming that the former NBA star is using Zaya's transgender journey for financial gain? Um, what do you guys think about this? So I'm just going to keep it a buck with you guys. I don't like it. I think that, you know, this is very dangerous. Um, I think that there is an obvious agenda that certain people in Hollywood are pushing. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there is certain people, they are not only emasculating, but pushing the gender neutral stuff and they are starting with the children you guys they are starting with the children and the children are not even fully developed to even make a decision to even know what is happening and um you know i'm props to you know zaya's mom for taking action because it definitely felt like this whole rollout has been a pr campaign really since you know especially even more since Dwayne wade retired that this seems to be like the new direction for like quick money and quick exposure on, at the expense of his child. And I just, 
I don't know. It just the whole thing makes me uncomfortable, you guys. I mean, the child is only 15 years old and all of these changes, all of these things that are happening at a rapid rate and everything else, who knows what type of bullying and other things that are going on behind the scenes. And it's just like more and more and more things are getting pushed, push, 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 push. And now we hear about all these additional endorsements and deals because because that's the thing with Hollywood. It's like now all of a sudden, if you say that you are, you know, identifying a certain way or you're changing your sexuality or you're doing all of this, it's, it's this push, you guys, and people are making money off of it. So it begs the question, are you really LGBTQIA or is this an opportunity to financially gain and, you know, completely get yourself set up with several deals and sponsorships and get some quick money, get some quick fame and fortune and become very rich. Because there have been certain celebrities that I have always been suspicious of that it doesn't even seem natural. And I felt, you know, with this whole rollout that something is not adding up, something isn't making sense. Zaya is too young for all of this. And, and it's like, why can't all of this take place when, you know, Zaya turns 18 and she can decide whether or not what she wants to do with herself, right? Um, but it feels like, and it sounds like from what the ex-wife is saying, is that basically Dwayne Wade, you know, brags to her on the phone about exploiting their child so she definitely has a right to file court documents that you know this isn't it and to hold off on anything until she is 18 because then she can make her own decisions um as she would like and then she can have the proper information and the research that is involved when you were talking about you know taking hormones and having gender replacement surgery and all of those things is that something she truly wants at 15 years of age? Or is it something that her father and her stepmother are pushing because they are seeing dollar signs? They are seeing the opportunities that people are getting that, you know, come out and, you know, reveal that they're gay or that they're bisexual or that they're transgender. And then all of a sudden, all of these endorsements come through. So this is going to be a very interesting situation, you guys. And I am going to be keeping tabs on this because I think this is, you know, a huge, this needs to be a bigger story than what it is um, because it actually came out, I think, yesterday and I was just hearing about it today. But um, I am very much intrigued in terms of what direction this is going to go and ultimately, you know, whether or not Dwayne Wade's ex-wife will finally get a W, you guys, because I believe she went to law school and some other things, but I definitely want to see how this unfolds, if they are going to rule in her favor or not. Um, but please let me know what you guys think in the comments, because again, this is controversial, because again, you know, some people are using this to exploit people and even exploit themselves. So I don't know. I don't know what to make of this other than we will find out at this December court hearing what is what. And I do know that. Um, so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post some content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.